Ho YouTube, Murphy's Law back with another pickup video for you today. Uh, this is a Halloween episode, if you couldn't tell. Uh, i got a couple Halloween parties to go to this afternoon, and this is going to be the only chance I get to record this video, so I figured I'd do it in costume for you guys. Um, so yeah, i got a lot of stuff, some game store finds, some thrift store finds, so let's just jump right into it. So the first, uh, the first couple things I have for you from a game store in Seattle, it's called Another Castle. I stopped there on my way to a concert, so um, they have a bunch of games for every system out there, uh, new, old, retro. Um, they have some really good prices, some decent prices, and they have an old school arcade in the back, which is awesome. Uh, tons of games to play. So I had a great time just hanging out there on our way up, up to see a concert. Uh, I picked up two games while I was there. The first was Jack Nicholas Golf, Jack Nicholas Golf for the Nintendo. Um, I'm not really a sports game guy. This is more nostalgia and memories. This is actually the first game that me and my dad ever played together. Um, and today's the anniversary of his passing, so when I saw this, I had to get it. It was only five bucks. Uh, it's in really, really good condition. Well, the box is the box has got a little wear, some dents in it, but the game itself, sorry, the game itself is in really good condition. Uh, so I remember trying to play this with my dad. Came with the dust sleeve. As you can see, really good condition label. Um, really good condition manual. It even came with this Konami insert for uh, for other games. Unfolds here. So it's got like Castlevania and stuff in there. So that was kind of cool. It's got the styrofoam in there. Uh, so when I saw that, I just had to get it. Reminded me of my dad. Put it on top of my game shelf. I'll probably never play it, but just to to have complete the the first game that me and my dad ever played together was something I had to get. And the other game I grabbed from another castle was a game called Dragon's Lair for uh, Sega CD. I was told that this is the best home version of this game, so I had to pick that up. I love Dragon's Lair. Really hard to find a, an accurate home experience that I've seen anyway. Uh, this is 100% complete. Uh, disc is in really, really good condition. Manual's in really good condition. I'm not going to take it out because it's a uh, pain in the ass. Have the little foam insert for the uh, for the CD there. The case is a little, has a couple cracks up here. Sorry, a couple cracks up here. Uh, that's something I should be able to replace or fix at a later date. So happy to grab those. These next three games I bought off a guy for $45 in uh, one of the video game trading groups I'm part of. Um, these, I needed all three of these, and I thought 45 was a pretty good deal. First up, we have Super Princess Peach. I have not played this game before. It's for the Nintendo DS, 100% uh, complete. There's a little bit of Sharpie on the cartridge, but that's not a big deal. Um, seems like an interesting concept. I really enjoy the Mario Brothers games, and this one is Star. It's kind of like those starring Princess Peach. And uh, my wife really likes the Mario Brothers games, so this gave her another DS game she could play. Uh, then for the Super Nintendo, I picked up Money Morphin Power Rangers the movie. Uh, interesting little fact about this game. Every single version of it was different. None of these were ports. Um, there's one for Super Nintendo. There's another one for Genesis, which I also have. I believe there's a Game Gear and a Game Boy version. Uh, all four of them 100% completely different. Um, they both have their pros. This one is not really based on the game at all. You just kind of fight monsters from the show. Um, or not based on the movie at all. You just fight monsters from the show. Then the end, you fight Ivan Ooze in a castle of all places. Because, you know, he had that giant castle. Um, but you can pick from any of the six rangers. Uh, I picked Tommy, of course, you know, White Ranger, badass. Uh, this one's cool feature is uh, you start as a human, and then you fill up a morph meter by defeating uh, putties. And when it's full, you can hit the button, and you turn into your morph ranger, which increases your strength and gives you access to a special attack. Um, the Genesis version of it, special feature, was there was Zord fights. So every couple of stages, you could pick uh, between different versions of the Megazord and fight the monsters in Giant, and it followed the movie a little bit more closely. Uh, and then last but not least, in that $45 package, I got Yoshi's Story for the 64. Uh, I needed a copy of this game. It's freaking great. I absolutely love Yoshi's Story. Uh, it's kind of like uh, Yoshi's Island, but you don't have to worry about maybe Mario. I side-scrolled there. Um, let's see. Then, just by chance, I happened to find uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Fall of the Foot Clan for Game Boy. I found that while I was cleaning, actually. I thought I'd lost this game, so count that as a win. Nice free game. Um, a more local game store I stopped at the other day when I 
was up in town. Uh, found Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty for a buck. Uh, disc is in really good condition, 100% complete, and you can't beat a dollar. I have this on the Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection, um, but it's cool to have a physical copy for the PlayStation 2. Uh, let's see what else we got. We have Thrift Store Finds now. Uh, picked up a copy of Wrath of the Black Mana. It's not the best game, but it's a ninja game, and I do enjoy ninja games quite a bit. I uh, was able to pick up Columns for the Genesis, probably one of my favorite puzzle games right below Tetris, uh, Tetris being number one. No instruction manual. Uh, game is in good condition. Labels in good condition. So is the case. So happy to have that. Um, and then all the thrift store stuff, uh, starting with Wrath of the Black Manta and Columns, and then the rest of the stuff I'm going to show you here in a minute, cost me about 20 bucks total between Value Village, Goodwill, and some other local stores. Uh, I picked a copy of Surgical Strike on Sega CD. I've never actually played this game, so I can't tell you much about it. The case is in utter disarray. The front comes off. The disc is in good condition, and the back cover's there, so that's something. Uh, just trying to get some games to actually take advantage of using the Sega CD. Uh, then we got two 64 controllers. These were three bucks a piece. Uh, I didn't have either of these colors. I'm not really a variant controller collector, but I needed two extra 64 controllers. I only had two, and I wanted to have four. So awesome to pick these up. I really like this one. It's kind of a, a grapey. I think it's grape, atomic grape, someone told me. I'm not sure 100%, but happy to have that. And then, sorry, I'm a little all over the place here. GameCube. I found an extra GameCube, have all the hookups, uh, and a controller. So this is extra. I'll be able to sell that, keep funding the, the game hunting expeditions. Uh, I already have one. That one works perfectly. I plugged it in and tested it. Uh, really good. Got some 64 games. First up, uh, Forsaken 64. Uh, I can't remember if this game is any good or not, uh, but it was nice and cheap, so I picked it up because I don't have it. Then we have... Cruising USA and Cruising World. Both games are very, very fun. I just need Cruising Exotica, which is also very fun. Love those. And then uh, I picked up Rush, San Francisco Rush Extreme Racing. Uh, these kind of remind me of Burnout, and this uh, I really wish that uh, San Francisco Rush series had not waited as long as they did to come up with a new game, because by the time they came up with uh, whatever was on the PlayStation 2, and the Xbox, I believe, uh, Burnout had already took in the, uh, the Arcade Racy title, in my opinion. So, that's their fault. Next up is uh, a package I got from my buddy Andy. It bought this for $145. Open it up here really quick and show you what I got. I just can't seem to find a knife at all. Maybe I'll just uh, cut it open with these. Now that that's open, I'll take a look inside and show you what I got here. So I bought a PlayStation Vita from him. Uh, no box, but the system itself is in uh, really good condition. There's some uh, fingerprints on the screen because it's a touch screen, you know. So I've got to wipe those off, but the, the back plate and the, the touch screen are in really good condition. The system itself works perfectly. Uh, he sent it to me for a lot uh, he sent it to me with a copy of uh, Gravity Rush. I haven't played this yet, so I'll have to give that a try. And a 4 gigabyte memory card, as well as the, uh, the charging cords and everything. Uh, I'll probably take the memory card and Gravity Rush and trade them in to GameStop, try and get a bigger memory card, because I have a digital copy of this that I can buy, or not buy, sorry, digital copy of this that I can download thanks to PlayStation Plus if I wanted to play it. Because um, four gigabytes fills up very quickly with these digital games. I can't even fit the uh, the Uncharted Golden Abyss on there, and I really wanted to check that one out. So yeah, that's all the game finds I have for you guys this week. I probably won't have anything until next month. Um, I just want to say thanks for uh, all the responses on my contest video. I really enjoy reading the stories about why why you guys are so into games and what you love about games. That's uh. That's just, I love it. I love hearing these stories. I love how seeing how many of them are so similar to mine. Uh, and I can't wait to give back to you guys. So if you haven't, checked that out. I'll post a link to it in the description. Uh, it's just the last video I did. Uh, all you have to do is leave a comment describing 
why you're into gaming, what gaming means to you, and you have a chance to win some pretty cool stuff. Um, so yeah, that's all I have. As always, fight evil, play video games. Bub. I won't let you throw your life away. Come back here. I go where I wanna go.